find the crew Milton and Bird, Travis and Spud Playing together like good friends should Busy, such a lot to do. Building and fixing till it's good as new. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Can we build it? Yeah! Can we fix it? Robert, bedtime. Just a while longer, sweetheart. It's a beautiful night. I used to have trouble getting Bobby away from that telescope. Now it's the same with you. Sorry, hon, but it's so exciting. Do you know, tomorrow night, there's going to be a comet. A comet? It's like a beautiful star with a long tail of light. Oh, yes. They're very rare, aren't they? They certainly are. Astronomy Today says... This one comes around only once every 400,000 years. Really? Well, then, we can stay up late tomorrow night and watch it. I have a much better idea than that. Bobby and I have got a plan. Um, what's a comet, Bob? Here's a picture of one. Look. Oh, oh wow. wow. It's kind of small, Bob's dad. Just a little dot. That's because it's far away in the sky, Lofty. This is what it looks like close up. Whoa. Um, will we be able to see it close up, Bob? Yes, because my dad and I are building an observatory. An observatory? Yes, a special building with a big telescope inside. Show them how it's going to work, Dot. Well, Lofty, do you see that rabbit? Uh, kind of, Bob's mom. He's, um, really far away. Try this, dear. Ooh, he looks really close now. That's what a telescope does. It makes something far away look really close. You wait till we use Bobby's powerful observatory telescope tonight. That comet may look like a little dot, but we'll get a close look at it all right. Come on, team. <laughs> So, but what if Bob's observatory isn't ready in time? It'll be ready. <laughs> Come on. Oh, no. What's wrong, Lofty? Oh, I was just looking at the designs for the observatory, Bob. Good, aren't they? The telescope's inside. When it's night, we open the roof and look up at the comet. Yes, but, um, the door. It's too little for me. How will I get inside? Aha, uh -huh, I thought of that. I'm going to connect this special screen to the telescope. Whatever Dad and I see through the telescope, you and the others will see on the screen outside. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, but, um... Now, can you please go back to the yard and get some extra crates? Oh, um, okay, Bob. Can we build it? Yes, we can! The other machines and I are gonna watch on a screen. I know, but what if the screen's not big enough? What if there's not enough room for all of us? What if everyone else can see, but I can't? Can I see the comet without the telescope? Mm, I don't think so. The comet's far away in the sky. Only Bob's telescope can make it look close. Ooh. Or maybe I could get close to it. But how? 
Oh, that's how. The mountain. I'll go up the mountain and be high in the sky. Thanks, rabbits. Yes. Let's put this telescope together, Dad. Oh, uh, I've got a mountain to climb. Oh, that comet. Bob's dad was right. It's just a little dot. I better start climbing. Comet, comet in the sky. You are very, very high. You are shiny, you are bright. Up there with the stars at night. Comet, comet in the sky. You are very, very high. Better get that screen up quick, Bob. I know, Scoop. But where is it? Lofty was supposed to be getting it. Really? Has anyone seen Lofty? Phew! Now I'll be able to see the comet nice and close. Oh, no! It's still just a dot. Oh, oh, oh! This is the crate the screen's in. But where's Lofty? Oh, let's follow them, Bobby. I think they might lead us to Lofty. Lofty? What are you doing? Don't you know you should never climb mountains on your own? I'm sorry, Bob, but I thought if I was as high as the sky, I'd see the comet big. Well, things do look bigger the closer you are to them. And we are a little closer to the comet up this mountain. But the comet is very, very far away. Even if you went up the highest mountain ever, the comet wouldn't look big. But you could have had a really good look at the comet at the observatory. Oh, I was worried I wouldn't be able to see the screen. You know, with all of us around it. The other machines would have made room for you, just like you would have made room for them. Oh, oh no. Well, no one's going to get a look at the comet if we don't hurry up. You left the screen back at the yard. Oh, no. Come on, let's get it. Everything's in focus, son. Whoa. Whoa. Now, can everyone see? Yes, Bob's dad. We're all sharing the screen together. And I have something else I want to share, too. My comet song. Comet song? Oh, how sweet, Lofty. Comet, comet in the sky. You are there. You're here for us to see Thanks to Bob's observatory Comet, comet in the sky You are very, very high Oh, ha, 
my scrambler. I was just uh, resting my eyes. Where are you going? To see the new hotel in Boblin Bay. Wanna come? Oh, yes, 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 and yes. I love hotels. Jump on. We'll get there in scrambler time. To the hotel and make it snappy. <laughs> so, team. The main hotel building has been finished, but we still need to build the guest villas. What are guest villas? Well, Roly, they're the small buildings that will be extra rooms for the guests. And this is what they'll look like. Wow! Look at the new hotel! Cool as a mule! Does that mean there'll be lots of new visitors coming to Boblin Bay? Yes, bud, it does. And a lovely hotel like this will keep them coming back again and again. Cool! Oh, hi there. Everyone, meet Luella. She's the owner of the Boblin Bay Hotel. Hello, Hello Luella! So sorry, can't stay and chat. The hotel manager is late, and I still don't have the beds for my hotel rooms. I'm just dashing off to Bobsville to get them. Oh, dear. Well, good luck. What's a hotel manager, Bob? Well, Roly, running a hotel is a big job. The hotel manager is coming to help Luella do it. Hotel manager. That sounds like a fun job. Okay, team. Let's get cracking. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Oh, yeah, I think so. Come on, Scrambler. Let's go and look at the hotel. Awesome. Well, here we are. The Bobland Bay Hotel. Oh, hello. Are you new visitors to Bobland Bay? Yeah, we've come here on our vacation. You must be the hotel manager. Uh, yes. Spot the hotel manager. That's me. Spot? Shouldn't you ask someone before you take over? I've worked in a hotel kitchen before, so how hard can managing a whole hotel be? <laughs> Walk this way. Welcome to the Bobland Bay Hotel. Spot, the suitcase carrier, will carry your suitcases to your room. Oh, oh, oh dear. Just a minute. <laughs> oh, are you okay? Oh, oh yes. Easy peasy. Uh, uh, at least you don't have to unpack. <laughs> I do hope you like your room. Look, it has a nice window with a charming view. But it doesn't have any beds. Oh, uh, don't worry. Uh, they're coming very soon. I'm sorry, Spud, but I think maybe we should find somewhere that's ready already. Oh, no, uh, you can't. Please don't go. Uh, uh, there isn't anywhere else, honest. Uh, and anyway, it's lunchtime. Well... Okay. You won't be sorry. Uh, this way to the hotel restaurant. There. That's the pipe that takes the water down from the mountains into the guest room. Ooh, that's clever. Yes, Lofty. You see, the water will be heated by the solar panels, and the guests can wash in fresh mountain water. <laughs> oh, uh, looks like Spud the chef has got to cook the lunch. Spud? Shouldn't you ask Luella first? There isn't time. If I don't make the lunch soon, the guests might leave. Oh, no. That would not be cool as a mule. Oh, yes. That, oh, that's just... Oh, oh. It's time for Spuddy to be... Spud the Waiter! Dad, Mom, 
I'm hungry. Do you think he's forgotten about us? Lunch is served. Hooray! Yeah. Oh, no. oh, whoops. Oh, dear. Oh, no. oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Um, Spud, but I think we'll go somewhere else, anywhere else for lunch. Maybe we'll come back another day. Aw, Mr. Spud's really funny. Come on, Jimmy. Oh, no. I ruined the opening day of the Boblin Bay Hotel. What am I going to do? There. These villas are looking great, aren't they? They certainly are. I'm sure the guests will love staying here. Uh, uh, oh, uh, hello, Bob. Um, if you had a friend who was running a hotel, not me, of course, because I'm a scarecrow. Uh, and... What did you do, Spud? Uh, 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 nothing. Uh, but just say that a couple of tiny things went wrong and the guests had left. Uh, what would you do? Well, Spud, I'd probably offer them a nice room to stay in. Like these villas. Oh, yes. Yes. They are very nice. And what a good idea. Uh, thanks, Bob. You're welcome, Spud. Don't panic. We've got the beds. I'll help you put them in. And I'll paint the villas. Wait! Wait! Come back! I'm sorry, Spud, but... We really need a hotel that's ready. But the hotel is nearly ready, and the real hotel manager will be here soon. Real, real hotel, hotel manager? manager? Um, um, uh, uh, I'm not really the hotel manager. I'm just a scarecrow, a man of straw. I like scarecrows. I was only trying to help, and, and you seemed such lovely people. I, I wanted you to be the first guests to stay here. I'm so sorry it all went wrong. I thought it was fantastic. Really? And if you don't go, you can stay in the new villas. Can we? Can we? Please? Maybe it would make up for the terrible mess I made. Please stay. Oh, pretty please. Will her. I think that would be lovely. Hooray! Come with me. I'll show you to your new room. There. All finished. I just hope you still have some guests. Oh, yes. I wonder where they are. Don't worry. The guests are right here. Hooray! Hello, everyone. Oh, no. Not more guests. <laughs> I'm not a guest. I'm Dickie Chester, the new hotel manager. Oh, phew. I've been looking after the hotel for you. I'm Spud. Oh, <laughs> well, hello, Spud. Excellent work. Thank you. And? We are your first guests. Hello and welcome. Oh, Mr. Chester, we are so looking forward to our stay in Bobland Bay. Are you staying too, Mr. Spud? Well, maybe I can stay and help for a little bit. Uh, Spud, don't you have crows to scare? Oh, yes, perhaps you're right. A scarecrow's work is never done. Tumbler, are you helping us today? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna need lots of cement for the new Bobland Bay Promenade. <laughs> um, what's a promenade, Bob? Well, it's a really wide sidewalk with gardens, fountains, and things. It runs along the seashore. So we can stroll along and enjoy the nice ocean views. I love ocean views. We better get a move on. It's a big job, you know. Rock and roll! Uh-oh. Was that me? Oh, no. It's my fault, Muck. I'm really sorry. No, it's not your fault, Tumbler. The ground is really rough. That's why we're building the promenade. Look, here are the plans. Plans look great, Bob. Hmm. I think we could make them even better by adding a special design or something. Ah, you mean a Bobland Bay touch. Hmm. Only problem is, 
I can't think what. Well, we have until the end of the day to think something up. Let's get started. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Go back to the yard, Bob, and make some more slabs to replace the broken ones. Can I help, Wendy? It's my fault they're broken. Hey, I can drive you back. And look, I have enough cement left for the slabs. Good thinking. When will the slabs be ready, Wendy? Oh, well, the cement needs to dry out and set. Uh, oh, I know. Why don't we work on that special promenade idea while we wait? <laughs> oh, yeah. Bob to Wendy, over. Yes, Bob, over. We're really busy. Can you come back and help? Well, I I'm just waiting for the cement slabs to dry, Bob. I can stay and look after the slabs, Wendy. Oh, thanks, Tumblr. I'll come back right now, Bob. Now, just make sure no one walks on the slabs. Our special promenade idea will have to wait. <laughs> Don't worry, Wendy. I'll think up an idea while I'm on slab watch. <laughs> well, that would be great, Tumblr, but you might not have time. Yeah, but watching these slabs dry is a really easy, teeny-weeny job. Well, maybe it is, but having ideas, now, that can be really tricky. Hello, Tumblr! Tumblr! What's wrong? Your face looks really weird. I'm trying to have an idea. Wendy said it could be really tricky, so I need to concentrate really hard. Oh, I can feel an idea coming. Huh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's not an idea, that's a big sneeze. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was just a practice run. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, little feathered friends. I'm helping Wendy think up an idea for the new promenade. Oh, come back, birdies. Don't be scared of little old Tumblr. Oh, no, birdies. Wendy said I shouldn't let anyone walk on the slabs. How do I explain birdie footmarks in the cement? Hey, hi there, bunnies. What are you guys doing here? Huh? Huh? I didn't understand that. I don't speak rabbit. Oh, no! Not again. It looks great, Bob. Um, is the promenade finished? The paving slabs! Oh, uh, yeah! We've still got to pick them up! I'll go, Wendy. Why don't you work on the promenade idea while we're gone? We still have time. Oh, dear. I'm not having any luck today. I wonder if Tumblr's had any good ideas. Aha! Hello, Tumblr. What are you doing? Oh, no. Watch where you walk, Spud. It was the birds and the bunnies. I'm on slab watch, and I think I frightened them with my big booming voice. Well, you can stop watching, because they're ruined now. I know. I wanted to help Wendy, you see. But I've ruined everything. I haven't even come up with a promenade idea yet. Aha! Now, ideas I am good at. Um, really, Spud? Oh, yes. You need a brainy scarecrow's help. Do you think you can make things better? Trust in Spud. Firstly, you need to uh, maximize your brain power. Yeah? So, you close your eyes like this. Scarecrow brain, are you in there? Can you hear me? We need an idea. What? Help! Help! My toes! It's gone! What is going on here? Oh, look at the paving slaps. Oh, ho, ho, ho. they're ruined and it's all my fault. 
I had a really easy teeny weeny job to do to look after the slabs and I've messed up. Oh, no wonder I can't do a hard job like have a good idea. Oh. But Tumblr, these slabs look great. Huh? What you talking about? This is a bird's footprint, right? Oh, uh, yeah. And that's a bunny bunny. Uh, that's me, Bob. Just there. Oh, there's my nose. This is a fantastic idea, Tumblr. Really clever. Wendy will love these prints showing all the creatures that live in Sunflower Valley. It really wasn't my idea. <laughs> but this idea is. Why don't all of us make some prints as well? We all live in Sunflower Valley too, don't we, Bob? Tumblr? I think that's the best idea ever. I'm afraid I'm still trying to think of a special design for the promenade. Well, Wendy, luckily for you, Tumblr has had the most amazing Bobble and Bay idea. Yeah, it's quite brilliant, actually. What's the idea? Ha <laughs> ha! You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. <laughs> These slabs are fantastic. It's that special Bob Land Bay touch. How did you come up with such an amazing idea? <laughs> I don't know. It just sort of happened. And look, Wendy, we've left a slab for you. <gasps> for me? Oh, oh, how exciting. One for you and one for me. Ta-da! <laughs> It's the Bobland Bay Walk of Fame. Oh, <laughs> <yay>! <laughs> I'm Muddy Muck, the muddiest machine, and Bob don't care. <laughs> Clean as a whistle bristle. That's me. Today's job is going to be really, really special. Hey, I like the special ones. We're putting the finishing touches to the Bobland Bay Promenade. Um. I thought it was finished, Wendy. Well, nearly. But tonight is the grand opening. And guess what? What? We're putting up illuminations, and Mayor Bentley is switching them on. Wow! Oh, rock and roll! <laughs> what are illuminations, Wendy? They're lots of bright colored lights, Roly. Bob's in the workshop now getting them all ready. Oh, uh, this is just like doing Christmas tree lights, only bigger. Aha! I'd recognize that sound anywhere. Aha! Right on time. Hi, Bob. Hello, everyone. I'm Bristle. The clean is a whistle cleaning machine. Oh, oh yeah. hi, Bristle. Oh, yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you. Hey, your brushes are brilliant. <laughs> Thanks. I've got squirters, too. Look. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you're a muddy machine, aren't you? I can see I'll have my work cut out for me. <laughs> <laughs> I make things all muddy. Can you get them all clean again? Does that mean I'm part of the team? Oh, yes, Bristle. If there's one thing Bobland Bay needs, it's a machine to keep it clean. You can rely on me. I'll soon have it clean as a whistle. <laughs> okay, Bob. 
Come on, everyone. We have a big day ahead of us. I'll continue getting the illuminations ready, Wendy. <laughs> so, it gives me the greatest of pleasure to declare Bobland Bay's... Oh, oh what is it again? Um, Bobland Bay's Promenade Illuminations. Kind of a mouthful. Now, let's try that again. So, it gives me the greatest pleasure to declare Bobland Bay's Promenations... Oh, I need a coffee break. Ah, <sighs> You know, Flex, there's something quite magical about the seashore. Yup, and it smells all fresh and salty. Wendy, is this the sand you want us to move? Oh, yes, Scoop. As soon as the promenade's clear, Bob will lay out the illuminations, ready to put them up. Spick and span, spick and span. That's the way to do it, Birdie. Make it clean as a whistle. Keep going missing? That is strange, Wendy. Hmm, it sounds like you could do with an extra pair of hands. And an extra trowel. I'm on my way. Oh, uh, is everything okay, Bob? Well, Wendy says things keep disappearing. We better go and see what's going on. And so it gives me great pleasure in declaring Bobbleland. Bobbleland? Where on earth is Bobbleland? Get a grip, Bernard. Uh, how's the speech coming along, dear? Oh, I'm having a little trouble with my bubbles, Barbara. Oh, dear, Bernard. I think it's time for some coffee. Thank you. Okay. Painting or pointing, Wendy? Painting. And this time, I won't let this can out of my sight. Well, the sooner we get finished, the sooner we'll get these illuminations up. Uh, Wendy? Not the illuminations, too. Our sand went missing, too, didn't it, Muck? Yes! Right from under our diggers! Oh! Maybe it's mice. <laughs> I think they're kind of small to carry all that, Dizzy. What about big mice? Nobody move! Nobody move! There's been a robbery! Pitch the storekeeper! A robbery? Someone has taken my lovely display of pails and shovels from outside my new store! Sand? Paint, trowels, illuminations, and now pails and shovels. I need to get to the bottom of this. It's a mystery. That's what I think it is, a mystery. Something links all these things together, but what? They look so colorful. I had them all arranged on the ground, just here. That's it. Everything that disappeared was on the ground. The illuminations, the paint can and trowel, your pails and shovels? On the ground? What does that mean, Bob? I think I might have gotten to the bottom of our little mystery. Aha! Uh -huh. Huh? Oh, hello, Bob. Sorry, I must have dropped off. I've been busting my brushes. I'm not surprised, Bristle. You cleaned up nearly the whole of Boblin Bay. Including my pails and shovels. Oh, uh, sorry. I thought they'd been left out for cleaning up. <sighs> Just the lights to do now, Bob. I'll be with you in a minute, Wendy. I'm sorry I made everyone late, Bob. But when I saw those things lying around, I just had to clean them up. Well, you did say you'd get Bobble and Bay as clean as a whistle, Bristle. But it might be an idea to ask if things are finished with next time. It's all part of being in the Sunflower Valley team. We work together. At least we'll know where everything is from now on. <laughs> Tidied up and clean as a whistle. Right, Bristle? Right, Scoop. But only the trash from now on. <laughs> Come on, team! Let's get these illuminations up before the sun goes down. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Oh, uh, yeah, I think so.
so it gives me great pleasure to declare the bubble and uh, illuminated. Oh, oh. Where's your speech, Mayor Bentley? Oh, no, I, I, I must have dropped it, Spud. You can't get away from Bristle. Don't worry, Mayor Bentley. Leave it to Bristle. He'll be here in a whistle. Got it. Good work, Bristle. Oh, thanks, Bob. Thanks, Bristle. It gives me great pleasure to switch on the illuminations and so declare Bobland Bay Promenade open. Great job, Bob. Spick and spin! Spick and spin! Okay, team. Today we're going to be building a new floating jetty. Rock and roll! And some moorings for Ella Stevenson's houseboat. Oh, um, okay, Bob. Yeah! No problem. And while you're doing that, I think I'll give the houseboat a good cleaning. Good idea, Ella. Okay, let's make a start. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. I'm Splasher. I'll get it. You will? How? Easy. Watch. No! Stop! Oh, no! I can't look! Lofty, you have to look! He's floating! Floating? What was that big splash? Is it a fish? Is it a duck? No! It's Super Splasher! Super Splasher? You mean me? Yeah! I like it. I'm Super Splasher! <laughs> <laughs> I see you've met Splasher, Sunflower Valley's new amphibious machine. Amphibious? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> amphibious, Roly. It means he can go on land and water. Ooh, that's really good. That was amazing. Oh, yeah. You saved my wood! You're like a fantastic rescue superhero! Yeah, I suppose I am. Uh, Woohoo! But uh, I'd better get to the hotel. I, uh, I don't want to be late on my first day. Actually, where is the hotel? Oh, uh, just uh, follow the river and turn left. Thanks. I can't wait to get started. Ah, you must be Splasher. Yeah, I'm faster than a speeding digger, more floaty than a paddle boat, and I'm a fantastic rescue superhero. But nothing needs rescuing. Well, if anything does, I'll be ready. Good. Well, your job is to take people to and from the hotel and give them tours of the valley. Splasherific. I can't wait. Good, because here's your first tour guest now. Hello, Splasher. I'm Isabel. Hello, Isabel. Hop on. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this tour. A nice, relaxing afternoon. It'll be more than relaxing. It'll be splash-tastic. <laughs> Let's go. Splasher, wait! You don't know the way yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's your first tour, so I better come along and show you where to go. Good idea, Dickie. Which way first? Straight ahead. Now, this is one of Sunflower Valley's many sunflower fields. Oh, how interesting. <gasps> hey, look over there. Oh, yes, that's Travis. He's, uh... Stuck in the mud. And if I'm a fantastic rescue superhero, I'd better rescue whoa, him. Whoa, whoa. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, 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 oh
Oh, no. What's going on? Oh, I was coming to rescue you. I, I thought you were stuck in the mud, but uh, now I am. <laughs> I wasn't stuck. I was just spinning my wheels. Don't worry. I'll push you out. Oh, but I'm Super Splasher. I'm supposed to be doing the rescuing. Sorry, Isabel. This first tour doesn't seem to be going very well. Yeah, sorry. I'll make sure the next part's great, though, eh? Well, here we are. And it's time for the highlight of the tour, the river ride. A river ride? Oh, that sounds relaxing. Are we getting on a boat? No need. Full steam ahead, Splasher. What? No. Uh, wait. Stop. We'll sink. Oh, oh my. We're floating. Oh, yes. This is lovely. Really very relaxing. Yes. Well done, Splasher. Oh, no. That dog's stuck. He needs rescuing. No, Splasher. Wait. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Quick, little doggy. Get on board. Wait now. Wasn't very relaxing either. Sorry, Isabel. <laughs> well, at least it got the mud off. <laughs> Never fear, Super Splasher is here. One dog rescued. <laughs> Scruffy didn't need to be rescued. <laughs> he likes it on that rock. Look, there he is, back again. <laughs> what? Oh, no. This tour is not really going very well. Ah, oh, sorry, Dicky. Sorry, Isabel. <sighs> and I still haven't rescued anyone. There. I won't be needing this rocking chair anymore. Oh, Ella. We need to undo your mooring ropes for a while. But don't worry. You won't drift out far. Lofty will hang on to the ropes and pull you back as soon as we put in the new moorings. Well... It's the perfect day to do it, Bob. The water's so calm. Oh, yes. This is much more like it. Very relaxing. Oh, no. That house is floating away. But never fear. I, Super Splasher, will save the day. Oh, no, no, not again. Splasher, what are you doing? It's okay. Don't panic. Super Splasher is here to rescue you. But Splasher, Ella doesn't need rescuing. And now you've knocked my furniture into the river. What? Oh, no. That's it. I'm not rescuing anything ever again. I'll never be a superhero. But Splasher, we need you to be a superhero now. Ah, uh, what's the point? I keep trying to come to the rescue, but I just make everything worse. Only because you don't check first to see if people need rescuing. Really? Yes, Splasher! So this really is a job for Super Splasher? Yes! Oh, well, in that case... Stand back, everyone! Super Splasher will save the day! You're my superhero. Splasher-tastic! At last, I've really rescued something. Oh, that is such a pretty rocking chair. You can have it. I won't have any room for it once I've rearranged my furniture. everyone. It's perfect. I'm sorry you didn't get your tour of Sunflower Valley, Isabel. Don't worry, Splasher. Sitting in my new rocking chair by the river is a lot more relaxing. Uh, yeah, I suppose it is. <laughs> and Splasher, tomorrow you'll be ready to do the tour without me. Yeah, and I promise not to rescue anything. Well, unless it really needs it. Oh, Splasher! Whoops, sorry. 